Gmail is an important messenger app in our Jeffco Google domain that improves sharing and functionality among all the apps. When someone shares a document with you, Gmail sends you a message to let you know. When someone adds a calendar event, Gmail also notifies you. Similarly, if new changes are made to a website or a form, Gmail will send you a message if you have notifications turned on. Clearly, there are many important communications that will arrive in our Jeffco Gmail inboxes, but since OWA is still our primary email communication tool, we can forward those important Gmail messages to OWA to avoid having to check two inboxes. Step one is to log into Google Apps. You can do that off the Employee Connections page, or I have the page bookmark for quick access. Once you're at the login screen, pay careful attention to see if the at jeffcoschools.us text is already added beneath the username box. If it's not, you will need to type that in yourself, put in your username and your password, and sign in. I can tell I'm logged into the Jeffco domain instead of a personal email address because I can see the at jeffcoschools.us after my username. I also see that I've landed in Google Drive, which is not where I want to be if I'm trying to make changes to my email. So across the top in all of our Google Apps is a black bar, and these are quick links that will quickly take you to the correct app that you're wanting to get into, in this case, Mail. Once you're in your Gmail inbox, you might see some existing messages already in here. What we're going to do is from now on, whenever an email message arrives, we're going to go ahead and send that message onto your OWA account. Now within all of the Jeffco Google Apps, you'll find a gearbox in the upper right hand corner and this is how you adjust the settings for that particular application. Go ahead and select that gearbox and choose settings. Once the mail settings load, you're going to scroll across the tabs until you find the forwarding options. From here, you're going to choose the add a forwarding address button and you're going to type in your Jeffco OWA account email address. Google then is going to prompt you to confirm this email address because it certainly doesn't want you forwarding mail to someone who isn't expecting it. Go ahead and click the proceed button and you get a message that a confirmation code has been sent to verify this permission. So the next thing you need to do is to go over to your OWA account to get that confirmation code. Here's what that confirmation email looks like. So Gmail sends me an email that has two options to verify that it's okay to forward mail to this account. One is to copy this confirmation code and take it back into my Gmail account. There'll be an area for me to pay, cut and paste that in. Or I can simply just click this link and I get a confirmation message that Jay Johnson at Jeffco Schools is now going to forward its mail to my OWA account. Now even though I've confirmed that it's okay for Gmail to forward mail to this OWA account, my mail still will not forward until I go back to my Gmail settings and adjust a couple more things. So let's go ahead and go back to my Gmail inbox and go back into my mail settings to finalize this process. And again, go over to that forwarding tab. You can see that after I've confirmed my email, it now shows up as one of my forwarding options in my Gmail account. But currently the account is still set at forwarding being disabled. So I need to simply click the button next to forward a copy to this email address. And then I need to decide what I want to do with the mail that goes to my Gmail. I can simply keep it all inside the inbox, so I'll have a copy being forwarded to my OWA inbox and a copy kept in my Gmail inbox, or what I will often do is just go ahead and archive it. Archiving the mail saves it where I can access it later but doesn't take up any storage space. So I'm all set. The last thing I need to do is save my changes, and from now on, all of my mail that comes to my Jeffco email account will be automatically forwarded to my OWA account, so there's no need to check both inboxes.